Hey guys, it's Caleb from Brickloaf, and today we're going to be reviewing LEGO Ideas set number 21338, the A-Frame Cabin. This set is $179.99 from LEGO. It comes with a little more than 2,000 pieces and four minifigures. Like usual, we're going to take a look at the minifigures first, and then we're going to move on to the build itself. Now we're gonna take a look at the figures next and four figures total came with this set and there are two pieces that are new. All the others can be found somewhere else but most of them are unique in some way. They don't come in a whole lot of sets or they're in the newer sets. All the pieces on the people on the left can be found somewhere else but on the two people on the right, both of their torsos are unique to this set and their prints can't be found anywhere else at this time. Being based on no particular set of characters, I think that the minifigure selection is really good. Uh, they're all very different characters, and I think that they fit the setting of the A-frame cabin. The cabin actually has two features attached to the exterior of it, one on the front left side and one on the back right side. These are connected by two half pin, half axle pieces where they slide in, they don't necessarily connect in. The one on the left is the smaller one. It's got one smaller tree with a bird inside and it's where basically the log storage is. There's an ax inside and some sticks of that barrel. It's a pretty nice build for the small shed there with the angled roof. I really like how they did that. And this kind of ties along with the logs that they've got stuffed away inside of the A-frame cabin. There's a little more going on with the one on the right. It actually wraps around the back of the building. They've used a rock panel sideways, which I really like here. There's some mushrooms, leaves, there's a small creek in the back where they've got one of two frogs in this set. There's an otter, there's a box with some gear inside of it, two tall trees, and a storage for a canoe, as well as a little barrel to hold some of the oars and a lantern hanging off of one of the trees. You can take the kayak off if you want to, it just sits on two poles. And inside of that crate, there are two life vests and a water bottle. There's another water bottle inside of the house that we'll look at in just a second. I'm really glad that they included these features because it adds to the outdoorsy feel of it and it kind of goes along with the characters that they've included. Now we're gonna look at the cabin itself and for the most part, it's very square. It does have a projection out the front where the front steps go. It is not modular that I know of. I haven't tried connecting it to anything. I know it has the pins on the side. Uh, I do believe that the overhanging eaves of the roof would make it not connect, but I'll have to try that in the future. And we're just gonna look at this section by section. We're gonna start by taking off the two sides of the roof. These don't snap in in any way. They don't connect. They sit on there snugly. They don't really have to worry about them falling off. If you're carrying it, you just need to make sure you know not to tilt it. But they do sit on there fairly securely. On the front steps of the house, you can see there's a squirrel, some mushrooms, a bucket. There's even a butterfly on the side. But if you raise up one of the planks to the steps, you can see that second frog. And all along the front, they've used Thor's hammers as part of uh, this little design to make it look like bricks. The porch does have railing. It's got like a rocking chair, a camp stove, and then a bench with some cups and a lantern on it. The front also has three windows, a butterfly or a moth, whatever it is, and a small birdhouse. Along the back, there's a projecting chimney that comes out of the back that's connected to the stove. I'll show you that in a minute when we look at the inside. And there's an outdoor shower here with a shovel, uh, a door that's supposed to be a towel, some soap, and a little nozzle for the shower head as well as some utility features on the right side. What's nice about this set is you can easily remove the top floor so you can look at them closer and that's what we're going to do. We're going to start by looking at the top. So first off there's a spider in the attic and on the floor right there you can see there's a small tiny build of the Ideas Treehouse which is a really cool feature. There's a bookshelf, there are some items thrown all over the floor, there's some binoculars on the bed, and a really cool picture frame above the bed. On the floor, there's a camera and then a hole in the floor for where the stairs lead up. Now on the first floor, you can see there's a piece that's supposed to look like it's part of the treehouse on the stairs. Looking over on the right, there's a whole bunch of stuff everywhere. Uh, there's a candle, there's some gems on the left. There's also a record player, which has some records projecting out of the case. And there's a newspaper with a magnifying glass and some chairs. It almost feels a little bit too cluttered in this area. Uh, behind the stairs, there's some bottles which I think is like recycling. There's a camp stove with some logs and then a kitchen area. I really love how they used a flintlock pistol here as part of the sink. And then the pipes of the stove actually look like they connect to the outside. 
And then on the front, you can see they've reused something from the medieval blacksmith on the top. And on the right, there's a typewriter with some news stories on the ground and a really cool lamp build. And the floor mat to the front door says Lego on it. And that's pretty much everything with the A-frame cabin. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and let me know what you think about it down below in the comments.